there is a real grace for wealth and abundance listen my brothers and my sisters please hear me the realities that we have in this kingdom are defined by the graces that are upon our lives and many times when God helps us and shows us his mercy it is not for self-aggrandizement but can I tell you something about the grace of God or the dimension of a grace if it's not in your life it is not there believe me you don't want to know how discomforting it is for me to even talk about this I'm one person who because the subject of wealth and abundance has been so abused bastardized are we together now yes and it sounds sometimes it sounds very arrogant listen to me it sounds very arrogant when you claim that you have such a grace you know it's not it's not a nice most people will misunderstand you and say by by what what pride what no. if you say you have the healing anointing nobody will doubt it if you say you have the grace for this and that nobody will doubt it but once you say you have graces like this it's uncomfortable so i'm not someone who likes controversy so i usually will stay back but it's been burning in my heart it's good to give to people it's good to bless people it's good to be there for people but anything given to you physically was just donation real blessings are intangible listen to me I forgive me I don't know how else to say it but let me tell you this there is truly a grace for wealth there is truly a grace for abundance I'm not talking about business so that you don't think I'm talking no I know that you can get you can earn resources when you provide value you get a job you do a business you are selling one thing or the other but I am telling you this my dear people the person talking to you is not daft I'm financially intelligent but I am telling you there is a real grace for wealth and abundance there is a grace that commands financial resources it is true this man you see standing before you by the grace of God I have my history of sojourn when it has to do with the realm of wealth and prosperity I have seen mammon this spirit you call mammon I have seen it Makers, when it has to do with finance, there are many, many people, respectfully, including some of us men of God. There's nobody who will not say he has the grace for wealth and abundance. But I am telling you sincerely, by God, there is a grace for wealth and abundance, and it's been stirred up in my heart. It is selfish for God to have provided such a grace and to not make it available. The level of humility it takes to carry that grace, not many people can carry it. Listen, the grace for wealth does not just give you money. 
wealth and riches will be in your house. That you will lay up gold as dust. If your heart is not committed to the things of God, it is risky to carry such a grace. Because you see, when you have so much abundance and no hunger and passion for God, it will tear you into pieces. Listen, there are people today who little 10 naira, 20 naira produces pride, arrogance, one car, one house, one estate here and there. When this grace is upon you, you become a magnet, literally. That everybody who has the grace to give, they cannot ignore you. This is not about ministry. Now, there are many of you, I must tell you this, hold on. There are many of you who like money. That's why you are enjoying what I'm saying now. It's not that you love God or this, you have a passion you can kill because of money. And now, what a bonus about to come from a man of God. No. In this kingdom, you retain by your willingness to lose. Whosoever loses, finds. But whosoever keeps, will lose. Let me tell you why many people are not blessed. They are afraid of money leaving them. You have to conquer money. The addiction, the lust that comes with money. Once 10 naira is in your pocket, you don't respect anybody again. I have money. There are some of you, if you build one house or build a few flats, some estates, that's it. Nobody will listen to you again. I have 10 million naira in my account, 100 million or whatever it is. And yet you don't know God is only testing you to see. I cannot begin to tell you testimonies, it may not profit you. But I just want you to know and agree with me that there is a grace for wealth. And that for as many those in ministry, you need it. You are to be called is one thing, but honestly, you must be empowered. I'm not talking about offering, raising this. Please bring me this thing. Don't feel insulted. I'm not insulting you. But imagine you raise this now, you have this offering. Can this truly run a ministry? Can this truly run your life? Oh, speak from your heavens and the earth will sing. Oh, speak from the heavens and I'll hear from the Was praying and while I was praying my ceiling suddenly disappeared and the tree One eye was like the head of a human being. It had two of it. The tail had its own life. You could detach it. With fierce anger, he was looking at me. And he said, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance? That was the day I knew that it's not just the issue of job. 
it's not just the issue of business, buying and selling. Yes, I know you say there are unbelievers who don't love God and are prospering. There are dimensions of this thing, I'm telling you. Many people who claim they are wealthy are not wealthy. Believe me, they are just comfortable beyond the realm of a sociological context. If you have two or three or four cars and you have a house and maybe it's a few millions in your account, that's not wealth. You are wealthy to the degree to which you're giving to the kingdom no longer inconveniences you. The degree to which you can bless people and still go to sleep and not think of what left you until you are there. You are not there yet. That God is able to show a man kindness and mercy and pick you from where you are and grant you the grace that feeds nations, not just an individual. There are some of you here, probably you are called into the ministry of kingdom wealth and abundance. I remember when we started this ministry by the grace of God, there was a time I think they stole was maybe a total of 25,000 and I remember the then treasurer when she lovingly told me said you know someone came into our room and took it I went I said okay God the money is gone 25,000 so don't think that maybe there's some politician or some God you know when people see these things they think oh there's some politician standing I stand by the God of heaven there is nobody that can beat his chest today to say, I am behind this man to lift him. No. I know that God lifts. There are some things you cannot say when you have dipped your hands in certain places. Kingdom wealth is real. Wealth and prosperity is real. It's not talk and talk. <clears throat> There is an exact grace that can show men mercy. There are ravens that can bring bread to people at Brook Cherry. Listen to me. If you believe the prayer I'm praying for you, you will hold your salary on one hand and hold the benefits of the grace for wealth on another hand. You will know the difference. But it's only my prayer that I will not regret this prayer I'm praying. Because this money thing has destroyed people. It has led to pride. All kinds of things. Nobody listens when I am rich. I have a car. I have a house. Many of you gentlemen looking at me, I love you with all my heart. But there are some of you, the way I'm looking at you, if you actually see 10 million or 100 million in your account, it will take fasting and prayer and locking you up to get your attention again. You may not fast again, self. Not even to talk of your prayer life. It goes zero. Today you, you testify. I testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. The apostle said, such as I have, give I unto you. I stand by the God of heaven and by the privilege of the election of grace, by the mercy of the God of David. I stretch my hands over everyone here and those who are following. In the name that is above all names, may the grace that empowers financially, may that grace rest on you. May that grace rest on you. I open the gates of wealth and abundance. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command supernatural supplies. Resources that have a purpose. Non-distracting blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. I shift systems and structures and I pray that your portion in God's economy let it come to you thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through fire and through water 
but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, it's like an initiation. May you step into the realm of wealth. May you step into the realm of abundance. May you step into the realm of wealth. May you step into the realm of abundance for his name's sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who are uniquely called into the ministry of kingdom financing, I pray for you. May God make supplies available for you. And may you have the heart to do much for the kingdom. May pride and reproach not destroy you as God lifts you. Listen, the pandemic has brought many families, many churches, many individuals to a point of standstill. Sincere people who love Jesus. Don't pretend like what I'm praying is not important. There are families, the number one cause, statistically proven, the number one cause for divorce is finance and financially related issues but you see every time we talk about finance what we first think about is just job or some business somewhere there is a place for providing value but i'm telling you you are first empowered from the spirit those channels only give expression it is not the basis for your wealth the channels can change but if the grace is there the result will be the same hallelujah for some of you, you will be surprised at the supernatural connections that God will bring as a result of this prayer. Strangers, captains of industry, men and women you have no business meeting. Supernaturally, my God will connect you to them and they will make for your lifting in the name of Jesus. There are many of you here, you will enter prepared blessings. Listen, hear me. There are times that God will give you the grace to farm and then bring increase to your crop. There are times that God will help men to give you crops. But there are times bread can come from heaven. Bread is already processed. As soon as you hold it, all that is left is to eat it. If you are hungry and you need food urgently, what you need is not the grace to farm. It will take four months before it grows. You need bread from heaven first. Then your farm is prospered. Is it not in your Bible that he gives bread to the eater, seed to the sower? I've seen your seed. Where is your bread? Because he gives both. You collected seeds and you left bread. My God gives both. Bread and seed. Step into prepared blessings. Families here, step into prepared blessings. It's not a call for laziness. It's not a call for seriousness. It's an advantage that we have as the saints in this kingdom. One more time, step into prepared blessings. Ministries represented here, may God raise strong financial pillars to stand behind you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you lay up gold as dust in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will get to a point in your life where you will never think about money again. Your heart will be inclined to the kingdom and all that you desire is his glory, souls, destinies change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. If there is anyone here, death is on your neck. You are owing personally, corporately, there's all kinds of financial burden. I don't care how you got into that trouble. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I stand by the God of heaven and I pray in the name of Jesus, may help arise and bail you out of that tragedy. May help, may help arise and bail you out of that trouble. May help arise and bail you out of that trouble. May help arise and bail you out of that trouble. 
and I pray for you. May you not waste your money through foolish financial decisions. Hear me? Any decision, any investment, any business, any value platform that will destroy your money and only cause you pain through discernment, I pray that my God will help you get out of it and stay away from it. And then by extension, for those trusting God for jobs, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Supernatural jobs from heaven. Supernatural jobs. Jobs with honor. Jobs with honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for those in business. You are in business here. Regardless what level of achievement God has helped you to make, I pray in the name of Jesus, rise to a new dimension of achievement. Everyone due for promotion, we declare in Jesus' name your season has come. Hallelujah. Let me pray for families here with circles of tragedy. The same month, everything happens. People.